Hey guys, my name's Bethany and welcome to another video. This should be, I believe, day three of Bookmas or Vlogmas, depending on whatever you want to call it. So hopefully this is the third day in December you are seeing me. And today I wanted to talk about gift guides and especially gift guides that are for people who love books and reading. There are hundreds of gift guides on the internet for people who love books and I have looked at 30 of them in particular. I made a big list about what appears on everything and how often they appear and we're gonna see what the most popular gifts for people who love books or reading are according to all 30 of these guides. Towards the end I'll also talk about some of the ones that I think are the most creative or ones that I would enjoy getting the most. And with that, let's jump into it. So, like I said, I looked at 30 different gift guides and the most popular item with 19 different occurrences were tote bags, purses, clutches, anything that was a bag and had a book saying, a book print, <laughs> or book related something on the side of them. So that's a big hit apparently if you want to get a tote bag or anything like that. Those are very highly recommended by a ton of different bookworms. The next three are all tied at 17 different occurrences on these lists, and that is art or posters, essentially anything you're gonna hang on the wall that has to do with books, as well as mugs or cups, and scarves. Scarves were very popular on all these lists. I'm actually surprised at how high up some of these things were, like scarves. And a certain scarf was on many different lists, and I look like this kind of if I can find it. But there were a ton of different other scarves. There were Harry Potter scarves. There were ones with actual text on it. There were other ones that had just symbols on them. So there were a whole bunch of different scarves as well as mugs that also had to do with certain fandoms. And of course it's always very safe to get a poster or art that has to do with the fandom that your gift recipient was into. This one actually only showed up on a couple of lists but I have seen it before. Essentially you can get with this artist, give them a list of books, and they'll essentially illustrate them in your own poster here. So there's specific books that you want on there. They also have some pre-made ones, and I'll try and find that website and link it down below. They are very cool. And if you know what your gift recipient is into, or has favorite books if you know those, that's definitely a wonderful option. So next up, with 16 different occurrences, were necklaces or rings that had to do with books. You've got your typical, it's just a book on a chain, you have your different fandoms, you have Harry Potter related things, many different options here. Also at 16 are bookmarks. Of course, any good book reader was gonna enjoy bookmarks. I'm actually surprised it wasn't at the top of the list. And there are literally thousands of different options. You can get one specific to your zodiac sign. You can get ones by fandom. You can get with animals. You can get with trees. You can get literally pretty much anything you can think of on a bookmark. It's already out there or you can make it yourself. And most of the time they're pretty inexpensive so that definitely helps just below at 15 different occurrences are candles as well as bookends so there are a ton of different companies out there that make very funny as well as fandom related candles we've got a whole pinterest page with just candles on there and there are such things as just a book smell in a candle so old books or new books or paper or whatever, you can get that in a candle scent. You've got like the Gryffindor common room, you've got Newt's commander's case, you have Game of Thrones, you have all different kinds of different candles and plenty and plenty of options for your specific gift recipient and what they enjoy. And like I said, also at 15 were bookends and those are wonderful for anyone who needs some help on their bookcase. In my case, I don't have any room for bookends. There's no room to even shove those on the shelf. They're, the books pretty much hold themselves up. But that may not be the case for a lot of other book readers, so it's definitely worth looking into. At 14, we have book pillows, and those are any that may look like a book, have a book saying on them, etc. So there are a ton of different book pillows. Typically, they're pretty inexpensive, so it's a great gift if you're looking for some inexpensive gifts. Putting some of these all together in one like big gift would be an excellent idea. Strangely, also very popular and listed on a whole bunch of different lists were socks. So socks that have to do with books may look like a library card, have book writing on them, may have to do with certain fandom, tons of different sock options, and they're apparently very highly recommended at 13 different occurrences. <laughs> also on 13 different lists were reading lights or lamps. 
so lights that were specific for reading, for clipping onto your book, for clipping on somewhere so you can read at nighttime, or just lamps that happen to be near where you are and have to do with books or fandom related. Now back to the realm of apparel, we have t-shirts as well as bracelets that have to do with books. And I kept bracelets separate from the necklaces and rings because they were often very separate in themselves and often they were charm bracelets. So you could get different charms for your different fandoms. You can get just books, you can get whatever you want. There are a ton of different bracelet options out there and they are all very specific. And of course we know t-shirts. <laughs> There's gonna be a t-shirt for pretty much every topic you can think of. You can make a t-shirt yourself if you wanna be unique. Maybe you have an inside joke with the gift recipient about a book or about something that has to do with a fandom you're related in. It may already exist or you can have it made yourself. Now something I saw show up on a ton of lists at 11 actually were personalized library kits so they were typically a kit you could get that you would be able to put your own little like checkout card in your own stamp in as well and there were also embossers so you can emboss your books saying like the library of bethany mccallum i actually asked for one of these for christmas so obviously i'm a fan of this idea and it can just help bring a little bit of personalization into your books especially if you're a collector like I am, I have a really hard time letting go of books, even though if I think they're just okay, I still wanna keep them because they like having a collection. I like collecting lots of things. It's been a thing throughout my life. So if the person you're buying a gift for is a collector or just likes to personalize things in their house, an embosser or a library kit would be perfect for them. Also on 11 different lists were pins. So apparel pins or pins that you would put on your backpack those types of pens were also mentioned a whole lot. You can also get them in pretty much every design you would want for every theme you would like for any fandom. They're pretty cheap. They're very collectible, like I said, if you enjoy collecting things or if your gift recipient does, that's a wonderful thing. And you can get them from anywhere from the popular Disney pen trading that you can do at the parks to just ones that you would want on your bag or maybe your jean jacket. Do people still do that? I don't know. <laughs> but they were still on a whole bunch of lists and very popular. And the last of our most popular items were actually book themed tea. So I'm talking like loose leaf tea that you make a drink out of. They were on 10 different lists. Actually, the most popular that I saw mentioned on a whole bunch of different lists was a company called Novel Tea. And I'm sure you can get the pun there, novels, literature tea haha -ha. but there are actually a whole bunch of different kinds of book or literature themed tea so definitely check that out if your person is a tea drinker now on to some things I didn't see on a ton of lists I only saw them on probably one or two but I still wanted to mention because I think they'd make very good gifts something very popular right now that I see all over Instagram are book cart and they are the little rolling three shelved carts that everyone seems to be getting nowadays that people use them for like their to be read carts or current red carts or they'll organize them in all different kinds of ways and you can get them in a ton of different colors depending on what the person likes so i thought i'd mention that one because they seem to be very popular right now all over instagram and would probably make a pretty good gift if your person is running out of room on their shelves like i am i also saw on a couple lists are noise canceling headphones that would be perfect for book readers because we often are interrupted by different noises around us while we're trying to read. So I thought that'd be a great addition to add to your reading arsenal would be a great set of noise canceling headphones. Also something that I saw on a couple different lists were reading journals or reading trackers. So I have a very particular way that I like to track my books. I do it on Goodreads as well as Excel and I keep big spreadsheets and that works for me. However, some people like to write down what they read and keep it tracked in a more paper or physical format. And something that would be really excellent for that would be a reading tracker or a journal. And a lot of them come pre-formatted so that it has like the title, your review, your thoughts, when you read it, etc. All within one format. Makes it look very clean and user-friendly so if that's something you think your person would be interested in that'd be an excellent gift now something i didn't even know existed until i got onto the book side of instagram last year were book sleeves or book pouches and they are essentially fabric 
pouches that you keep your book in while you're traveling, like in your purse or your bag or in your car or whatever. It keeps your book protected while you're out and about. And often they're in very fun and cute prints. And some of them can even be fandom related. And I was surprised to see they were only talked about on a couple of these lists because they are so popular on Instagram and in other areas of the internet that I frequent that I was surprised they only showed up a couple times. So if you think that is something that your person would like, that's definitely a great thing to look into. There are a ton of different small businesses that make these and they are also very easy to make yourself. So if you're looking for more of a DIY or a make yourself gift, that would be a great one for them. Another good thing would be a couple months to a good book subscription. So of course I do book of the month. I really wanna get into Alcrete or I think it's called LitJoy and they are a couple of very popular subscriptions. But there are a ton of different ones. You could even look into getting someone a audiobook subscription like on Audible, though I'm hoping to soon switch to Libro, which is more of a smaller business that has the same function as Audible and part of that money will go to actual bookstores instead of just Amazon. I'm hoping to switch to that some soon and that would be an excellent audiobook subscription to get someone, get them set up with a couple of books. And lastly, I just wanted to mention, of course, like book box sets or collections. If you know that they are really into something and want some fancier versions, let's say, for instance, I just recently got my box set of Percy Jackson. So all of the Percy Jackson books, I got them in their own little box set. And it's something really special. You could get someone if you know they only have, let's say, some ratty, tattered paperback copies of something. Get them a really pretty box set so that they all match, they're cohesive, they look really pretty, and now they have a very nice set of books you know they already love. Kind of a gift you already know that person's going to enjoy. And that is going to be it for all of the gifts that I found that were the most popular, over 30 different gift guides for book lovers on the internet. Make sure to like the video if you liked it so more people can find us. Subscribe for future videos. Like I said, this is hopefully day three of Bookmas or Vlogmas. So we should have some more videos coming in this month of December as well as in the new year. Look down in the description for all the different ways you can find me, like on Instagram, my blog, and my other channel where I sometimes upload gaming videos. Let me know down in the comments if you saw any gifts that you want to get for yourself or for others. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of December. Bye. Come all evening.